Hello. This is an example I'm going to show you how to use XSVM com server from Excel. I have one Excel file with the macros inside, so I need to enable them first. Um, here the pictures are showing some basic trust types which we can generate. I'm going to choose one, say for example the modified modern trust. So I need to choose that one. That's here. I can use a steel grade, say I'm going to use S355. I can use a cross sections. For top course, I'm going to use a bigger section here, slightly bigger here, and even bigger here. Um, this is a height at the beginning, H1, and in the middle. Let's change this to 2, and this one to 3. Let's make the span to 30 meters. And the geometry, which is basically how many times I'm going to use here, to 6. Alright, this is uniform distributed load as point loads on nodes at top. I'm going to make this one 11, this one 13. And I'm going to use line load as well. It's smaller. 3 and 5. These are the factors used for critical moment. can leave it as it is. And here I'm going to get some values soon. Let's click on run. As we'll build a modem in XSPM. And runs the analysis as well. And here I'm getting the message that it's all done. Um, here you can see the applied loads. I'm going to switch them off and see what results I'm getting here. This is vertical deflection. Alright, and uh, let's see the values. Let's see the values. Okay, I think I need to show them the lines as well. Alright, it's 24.7 millimeters from the dead load. And if you go here, you can see it's the same value 24.7, 27.1 from the live load. point one it's correct and let's see what utilizations we get of efficiency so we have um we're going to switch off the members start to members okay so on the top the maximum is 0678. Let's compare that. It's 0692. So it's maybe oh yeah, this one. 0692. Um, the bottom cores 0294. It's here. And the diagonals. Diagonals are I think are failing. Let's see which one is that. Yeah, these ones actually are above one, so they don't work. I need to change the cross section. So, yeah, this is a little demonstration of running XSVM from Excel.